I just wanted to take some time to reflect a little bit on the the past that the past four or five months that we've been working on cranking some stuff out. Talk a little bit about where we started and how far we've come, and then um, share some really inspiring stories with you guys from some fans and some friends of the show, uh, just to kind of lay out what the future of the Trail Connection looks like. <music> Welcome back to the Trail Connection Podcast in the first episode of 2020. Uh, where we left off was back in on New Year's Eve. Uh, we did an episode with uh, my buddy Warren and called The Camping Convert. And I got to tell you, I'm really, really pleased with the way that things kind of wrapped up with that year. Um, and uh, I, I was really pumped to kind of get going in 2020 and, and get started again. But um, while I was out of town and, and doing some traveling around the holidays, it just kind of dawned on me that I wasn't really being honest. Um, I wasn't practicing what I was preaching. You know, every episode I was talking about, you know, reconnecting with family and all that kind of things. I, I was focused so much on getting this podcast going and, um, you know, getting content and getting all that kind of stuff that um, I kind of lost sight of what I was doing this for. And so I needed to take some time at the beginning of the year to really hone in on that and um, just reprioritize, you know, make sure that the the priorities are the right priorities and that kind of stuff. And so um, I took some time off and and did some planning for what we're going to be doing for the rest of the year, found a way that I can balance this in a way uh, that's going to make my family happy and, and satisfy my time with them but then also be able to pursue this passion project that I've been working on and that you guys have, uh, have been joining me on. So, uh, I, I'm sorry if you guys have been waiting for a couple weeks or a month or so now for the new episode to come out, but I promise, uh, I will deliver with some good stuff. I just, uh, I wanted to make sure that, um, I wasn't, I wasn't doing anything that was going to push my family away or, or, or get my priorities all mixed up. So hope y'all can understand that. And, um, I'm excited to kind of kick things off here. If you notice the scenery is a little bit different. Um, this is our brand new studio that, uh, we've been working on trying to get set up and it's not completely done yet. I uh, still got a lot of tweaks I want to do to it, but it's good enough to kind of get things going. And this first episode, I just want to take some time to reflect a little bit on the, the past, that the past four or five months that we've been working on cranking some stuff out, talk a little bit about where we started and how far we've come, and then um, share some really inspiring stories with you guys from some fans and some friends of the show, uh, just to kind of lay out what the future of the Trail Connection looks like. And so um, I'm pumped, man. I, I am ready for 2020. I'm ready to kind of get things going and uh, we're going to ramp things up a little bit. I know I just talked a little bit about kind of reprioritizing, but I got uh, I got a game plan uh, of how I can make this all work without taking away a whole lot of time um, from my family and include them, too, in, in the project. So um, let's talk a little bit about where we've been. So the last episode that we wrapped up with was the ninth episode of the season, and uh, I was really, really happy with how genuine and how uh, true that that episode rang. Um, you know, 
that none of the stuff that we do is scripted. Um, and, and some of that stuff might be to a fault. Uh, I can, I can babble and fumble and repeat myself a lot, use a lot of same words and stuff like that. Um, and so anybody that has been following along from the beginning, I, I hope you can see the progression, um, in each of the episodes and how we've kind of tweaked some, some information, how we've, I've changed up style a little bit, um, gotten more comfortable, um, you know, talking through some different topics with guests and by myself. And, um, I just, I really want this thing to come across, uh, genuine and, and honest. And so, um, along the way, I've gotten some really good feedback from some, some friends and and some fans of the show that I just want to take a couple minutes to share with you guys. And, um, I found them very inspiring. I found them very encouraging to really hammer home the goal of what the trail connection is all about. And, um, and so while, while I'm on that topic, I'm just going to go ahead and, and dive into it. So, so part of the reason why I needed to take some of the time off that I did was because I was getting so consumed with making this thing successful by judging it on follows and likes and listens and views, all of the metrics that we use um, in this viral community that we've all become part of, if social media and and um, you know online media, and so that that can get very consuming for someone who is passionate about getting their message out there and and being successful, you know, quote unquote successful, and you know, any kind of, any kind of pursuit of a, a goal or accomplishment, things like that, they all have to have some kind of measurement, some kind of like metric to see, you know, growth or success or, you know, accomplishment. And so it's really, really easy for somebody who is used to that, um, you know, in my, in my job and the things that I do in my job, it's all performance based, you know, um, to take that approach with this project. And that's at the, at the end of the day, that's what it is. It's a project. It's not, it's, this isn't a business. I'm not, I'm not making money doing a podcast and I don't foresee myself making money doing a podcast. It's not say it's out of the question, but right now, you know, that's just not, that's just not happening. And so I had to sit back and real and, and really ask myself, you know, why, why is it so important to be, chasing after likes and follows and, and all the stuff that I mentioned. And my, my view of success was just distorted, you know, and and I think a lot of people get that way. Everybody's just trying to put out content or put out media that like gets people's attention and draws, draws people into your message and what you're trying to do. And, and I, that's not what this is about. That's not why I started this. I started this project. I started the Trail Connection as a means of getting reconnected with my family, reconnected with the outdoors, prioritizing my life, and and finding time for the things that were most important to me, which are my family and which are my hobbies of being outdoors. And... I was turning it into every outing was becoming an opportunity to get content or um, almost manipulating it to where like, hey, babe, do you want to take the kids out for a a hike today? And, you know, it it wasn't because I wanted to go for a hike with my kids. It was because I needed to put out something new. I needed to put a new post up or I needed to, you know, get a new episode out. And that, and again, that's not what this is about. And so uh, it, It was necessary for me to just take some time and just pump the brakes for a minute and really focus in on what this is all about. So I want to take a minute and share a couple stories uh, with you guys that were a really big help with that for me. So uh, a coworker of mine who uh, has been following the show from the beginning um, shared with me that that last episode that we did, where we left off in 2019 with Warren on the Camping Convert episode, was really inspiring to him because he connected a lot with Warren about uh, the fact that he didn't have a whole lot of experience. He enjoyed being outdoors, didn't have a whole lot of experience or drive or interest in doing 
um, any kind of camping or, or anything like that. But after watching that show and, you know, the YouTube channel show and listening to what Warren had to say about his experience of coming in with an open mind and experiencing the outdoors in a way that he had never experienced before with, you know, some comfortable gear and, you know, having everything kind of set up in a way that is really enjoyable, not miserable at all. And really coming away from that experience, enjoying it and and kind of craving doing more, which by the way, we've talked about it several times uh, since then. And he's, he's asked me a couple times about coming back out. So um, that was a a success for sure. But uh, this coworker of mine told me that uh, because of that episode, um, you know, his son has been wanting to do a lot of, he's been doing a lot of camping with his grandfather. And uh, because of that episode, he's been motivated and encouraged to do some camping with his son because he wants that memory. He wants to have those memories with his boy. Um, Not to take anything away from, you know, the time that he has with his grandfather, but, you know, it, it just was like, you know, I resonate with the show, with the the content you guys are talking about and the message you're trying to, to send. And so it motivated him to want to go outside of his comfort zone and, and try some things that he's not really crazy about, but because his son's interested in, uh, he can see the benefit in, in doing that and connecting with his child. So that was incredible to hear that. Um, and it just like, it made my, it made my world, man. Like, um, that, that is just exactly what I'm going for. If I, if I can encourage one or two or three people to just do something different than what they're, they've been used to doing and, and get outside and make some memories and just enjoy the, the world around them, you know, God's creation, then, then that's a success. And so that was one, another, another person, another friend of mine, um, that's been listening to the show quite a bit, told me that, you know, he's, he's listened to all of them. And, um, every, I asked, I was asking for, for some feedback from this, this particular guy. And I just wanted to know, you know, like, you know, are you, are you enjoying kind of the, the format? Do you, uh, are they different enough? Do they all kind of sound the same? Um, you know, just trying to flesh out what I'm doing and, and making, making it, uh, a little bit more appealing to to some fe- some folks who um, may have popped in for one or two, but um, aren't really following along as much. And so, uh, anyway, um, I just I was just asking him some different questions about what he was enjoying about the show and all that kind of thing. And um, he told me that you know there is to him each of the episodes are different enough to where he he always comes away with something from, from each of the shows. But the thing that was most encouraging to me was he said, no matter what, no matter where you guys are or what you're doing or who, what you're talking about, he's like, I always finish up those episodes and immediately I'm like, I need to go get my mountain bike or I need to go for a hike or I need to grab my boys and take them out outdoors. And again, you know, that is just so awesome because that is exactly what I'm going for. And so it just, it really hammered home this point that it's not about the likes, it's not about the follows, it's not about the listens and the views and all that kind of stuff. Those are great, and I appreciate every single one of those, because those are real people behind all of those things, most most of the time. But, you know, anybody who takes the time to listen to an episode or like a post or, or read the read the little mini blogs that I'm putting on my Instagram and Facebook posts underneath the pictures that I take, you know, I value that. I value each of you who take that time to do that. And so I don't want to just dismiss that as it's not important because it is. I mean, I think that with that perspective from, from the standpoint that like, these are people, real people who are coming across my content and benefiting from it or engaging in it. That is that's inspiring, but what at the end of the day, what what really is a huge takeaway for me is if I'm actually inspiring people to do what I'm doing, to just change their mindset from oh, I gotta I gotta get an extra side job in or I gotta put some extra hours in at the office, um, as opposed to like 
I need to try to get out of here by like 3.30, so I've got a couple hours to go pick up my kid and take him out for a quick hike before sundown, or maybe we can catch the sunset, you know, on this really cool spot that, that we've been to before. And that kind of thing is just, it's priceless for me. So having said all that, um, again, I, I'm sorry if you guys were like, <laughs> there's probably like two of you who are really like eager for the next episode to come out. But uh, those of you who have reached out and asked, you know, when's the next episode coming out? I'm, I'm super flattered and I'm, I'm honored that you guys are that big of fans that you've been engaged and really looking forward to the content. And, um, you know, I, I thank you so much from the deep of my heart, the, the depth of my heart. Cause I, it's really, really awesome to, to be raw and open and put yourself out there and have people receive it the way that you guys have. So that's awesome. Thank you so much. And, uh, um, uh, again, you know, sorry for the, for the delay, but I hope you understand kind of the background on, on why it took some time to do that. And so too, I mean, not to say that I, I took that whole time to just ignore the trail connection. Cause I, I haven't, I've actually tried to record a couple episodes and, um, I just wasn't, I wasn't satisfied with the message. You know, it, it felt like I was forcing it. It felt like I was, uh, just trying to put something out because the schedule said to put something out and that's not what this is about. So hope you can understand that. And, uh, uh, now that I've I've spent a lot of time explaining that away, um, we can move on to to something else. So, um, where do we start and where where we kind of left off? Um, we started this journey back at the very beginning, kind of laying out why or where where I was, you know, well, with the with my job and how much um, I had put into that and how much I had focused on it. And that's not a bad thing, but when it completely consumes your thoughts and your 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 motivation for everything, your conversation, your friendships, your your family time, all that stuff is all you're thinking about is work, then that that's a problem. And so um, that's kind of where it was, and I, I took the time to push that off my plate and, and kind of spend some time outdoors. And this whole... This whole process has just been so energizing and, and like refreshing to really dive into uh, um, a hobby that's, I'm not going to say that I'm, a, I'm addicted to it because, I mean, I definitely, I definitely can, it can find a balance between it, but it, it's just, it's so enjoyable and so rewarding to just go for some, some short hikes or, you know, spend a night outside. And, um, I just, I haven't found that with anything else that I've done in the past. And, uh, you know, I've definitely had some hobbies that were fun and that I enjoyed, but nothing that kind of gave back the way that, that this one does. And so I think that's, it can be addicting. Um, for sure, just like anything, but uh, I don't think that's a bad thing, to be honest. I mean, especially if it's something that I can pull my loved ones in with me, and, um, you know, we can really benefit from it together, and uh, so on that note, I'm super pumped to uh, to share with everybody who's been listening. Uh, my wife and I actually had a chance to camp together for the first time since we've had started having kids and everything, um, last week. And it, that just was like cloud nine for me, man. I, I have been wanting that to happen pretty much from day one of, of getting into this hobby. I've wanted, she's my best friend. And so of course I want to share that with my best friend. And so it's been a really long wait for that to happen. Um, but it was awesome. You know, I, I got her all packed up. We went to, uh, to my new camping spot. I, uh, I've found another, another spot close by to the original one that, uh, I've debuted a couple of times on this ep on, on these episodes, but, um, I got a new spot that's a little bit closer. Not so, not so much of a crazy hike through water and swamp and all that kind of stuff, but, um, got her loaded up, took her out there, cooked her a nice dinner. Um, 
you know, had some some really nice one-on-one time with her, which we don't get uh, very often with having four crazy kids running around the house. But uh, we thoroughly enjoyed that, and um, it it got a little crazy there. Like, you know, once it, she said everything was awesome until it gets started getting, like, pitch black out there, and she started hearing all the animals moving around and stuff. That freaked her out a little bit. But uh, aside from all that, um, she had a blast, and and I had a blast. So I uh, that's kind of a, a monumental step for me because you know everything that I've been doing for the last couple of years has really been preparing for doing this this these types of things with my wife and with my kids. And um, I I camp with my kids in the backyard, and we're gonna we're gonna be starting to do more trips to like state parks and things like that to where there were at, um, actual campgrounds. But, uh, this was the first time that I took, I mean, this is primitive camping, like nothing is out there with us. And it was exactly the same setup that we did with, with Warren. And so, uh, that was, that was really cool to to show her firsthand some of the skills and some of the, the techniques and stuff that I've learned over the last couple of years. And, she had a great time. I mean, we, we had a great dinner together, cooked some steaks on the, on the fire and some potatoes in the fire. And, uh, we just sat there and had some great conversation and, uh, enjoyed being outdoors and listening to the, to the birds and owls and all that kind of stuff out there. So, and it was a beautiful night. I mean, we got down to the, uh, low sixties, high fifties and a little chilly in the middle of the night, but it wasn't too bad. Um, but uh, it was a real, real, real fun time, and so that was really energizing for me to do that, and then have the time that I've had to to re- just really reflect on, you know, what what it is that I'm trying to do with with the trail connection, and so um, I'm in a really good place right now, and. I am really excited about kicking these these new episodes out. I mean, I, I still have a schedule that I've planned and different topics that we're going to cover and different people we're going to bring on the show. But I plan on doing a, a lot more of the, uh, the stuff that we were talking about earlier on. Um, you know, the mini casts that I had mentioned. Um, my goal from now, you know, through the next few months is to is to put something out weekly. You know, it's not going to be full-blown episodes every single week, but, you know, there are going to be, um, you know, park reviews and things like that if, if I go on a hike in a state park with my kids or, you know, if I check out a spot uh, that I hadn't been to before, I'll try to grab some video and, and maybe come in here in the studio and talk to you a little bit about that experience and show you some clips of, of the area. But um, overall, you know, um, I want to ramp it up and, you um, I can't, I can't commit to putting out a full episode every week, but uh, I'll do the best I can to try to keep you guys in the loop and um, and put out some really good stuff, you know, as often as I can. But um, I've just been really, really encouraged by everybody who has been able to come on the show, people who have engaged with different various aspects of the Trail Connection, you know, whether it's listening to every episode or checking out the posts online or all that kind of stuff. Um, it's always positive. I, I haven't gotten any, like any haters yet. <laughs> um, I'm sure they'll come. Um, but up until this point, everybody's been, been super positive. And, uh, I've been really, really excited about some of the connections that I've been making lately with, with some folks online that, um, I hadn't met before. And, and so, I just have to have to keep that in the forefront of my mind that the the trail connection is a really great opportunity to meet a lot of different folks from all different walks of life that are all in common with this goal of just being outside, just getting outside and and soaking it up, camping, hiking, you name it, you know. It's, it, we all love it. We all love being outdoors, and we've got that in common. And um, and so I'm really going to try to embrace that this year. Uh, 2020 is going to be something, some 
some of the most energizing uh trips that I've done it's going to be some of the like the some I'm going to try to do some things that I've I've never accomplished before um really try to engage with some some people that I've never met before and that kind of stuff and um not uh, not just to bring good shows or good posts um it's really just to push myself to get outside of my comfort zone and just live up to what this thing is all about I uh, live up to the mission statement, and so I I, I just want to continue to encourage anybody who's listening or watching or reading anything I put out to uh, to just get outside and find some way to connect with folks who love the same thing you do. I mean, I can't tell you guys how many times on a hike where I've come across someone who I've never met, you know, we cross paths. And if we're taking a break at the same spot, you know, conversations start up like that. And it's just, it's so natural to just connect with people when you're outside, because right off the bat, you have that in common, you're both doing the exact same thing. And so you have that common interest. And so that door is opened. And I learned so much from just talking to people and from engaging with, you know, what their experiences are and all that kind of stuff. And so, um, anyway, uh, I, I know that I'm kind of rambling a little bit, but I just, uh, I wanted to take some time this week to just really set the tone for what 2020 is going to look like. And 2020 is going to be a lot more of connecting with people and, sharing experiences and and it, uh, some of these episodes are going to be all about outdoor stuff you know like just the typical things that we've been talking about uh I plan on doing some more some more traveling we're we're going to do a couple more episodes in different parts of the Appalachian Trail um I've got a a pretty cool beach camping trip planned uh that we're going to do and um there's going to be some more like topical things that are, that are going to be coming up uh, that I'm really pumped about. And uh, I'm going to be bringing on some some people that uh, I've never met before. And, you know, we've talked and connected through this podcast. But uh, some of those shows are going to be brand new, uh, be brand new conversations. And so I'm super excited about that. And I just want to I'm going to reach out to you guys right now and just say that anyone who's been following us from the beginning, if you can kind of see me going down this path again of just getting a little consumed um, or getting to a point where it's pretty obvious that I'm, I'm turning this thing into like a business, um, don't, you know, feel free to, to reach out and just say, you know, come on, Tim, you know, get it, get back in, uh, get back in the right mode here. I, I would love any kind of accountability or any kind of uh, feedback either way, you know, positive or negative. So I'm welcoming that. Um, shoot me a message or, or shoot me an email anytime, and uh, I'll be sure to, to check those out. So speaking of that, the next episode that we're going to do, I'm I'm really excited about this one. I think it's going to be awesome. We're going to be be doing a camping fails episode, and I'm going to bring back some following up from some uh, previous guests uh, that we've already had on the show, and we're just going to talk about bad experiences. And so, I need you to send me your camping fails. So, if you can, shoot me a DM on Instagram. Uh, my email is also on on uh, the Instagram profile on Facebook. You can shoot me a Facebook message. But please, share your uh, camping fails with me. And we're going to be um, talking about, you know, people that come on the show, we're going to be talking a little bit about our camping fails, but I also want to share some of yours. So if you want to be featured on the show, then please, please send me some some really bad experiences um, from, from uh, camping trips that you've taken that just haven't gone quite right or hiking trips that you've done that haven't gone quite right. So... Pumped about that. I think it's going to be awesome. Probably get some really good laughs out of that. And um, please uh, send me some stuff because I would love to engage 
my audience in that episode, and uh, it's 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 only going to make it more of a community. So can't uh, can't beg you enough to send me some stuff. Also, any kind of questions or um, you know hot tips that you want to share that you want featured on the show, send those as well, and, and I'll try to to get those included as well. So. Thanks again, everybody. I really appreciate the time that you guys spend with listening to what I have to say and uh, sharing with the message that I, I try to bring to you. And hope it's always uplifting. Hope it's always encouraging. And um, again, uh, take every opportunity you can to to spend some time outside. And if you got a family and and they're important to you, then bring them along with you because there's no way better to bond than, uh, than in the great outdoors. So until next time, I'm Tim Garland, and this is the Trail Connection Podcast. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Do me a favor and subscribe right down here. And if you want to check out some more Trail Connection videos, you can see them up over here or down over here. Thanks again, guys.